the the Movember sort of came about. Um, I knew that the players had grown mustaches in the past, just sort of as a team bonding exercise. Um, we hadn't really made much of it. Last year we um, adopted a kid, per se, um, Nick D. Police. We got to know him. He came became like our little brother last year, um, and he had type of cancer neuroblastoma that we're raising money for. And uh, this past year, obviously, when uh, Nick DeFelice passed away, the players were looking to do something kind of in his honor, his memory, to honor his legacy. Uh, we did sort of a culmination game uh, with Nick's parents did a puck drop, and we presented a check to the Neuroblastoma Foundation for $7,500. Yeah, I think the competition was sort of twofold. Uh, one was a little bit of pride and mustache growing, uh, and I think there was a few guys with with some really good ones going. Uh, Ryan McGrath, Doug Carr, Riley Wetmore, D Derek McCoy each had great ones. You know, it's always a good laugh seeing somebody with a mustache because a lot of people it doesn't really work on, but uh, around the locker room it's pretty funny to see everybody doing it. I I'd like to think that I have the best, best mustache, but um, you know, Riley Wetmore, he has he has a pretty thick mustache too, so. Mustaches aren't always a good look unless you're like a dad. Like I know my dad has a pretty good stash. Uh, Riley's dad's got a good stash, but they got like a 20 year head start on our stashes. On the dollar side, uh, we really got into a good good battle between Ryan McGrath and Derek McCoy near the end. Uh, each of them raised over $600 alone. Uh, they finished 1-2 in the standings with uh, Ryan taking the title of uh, most donations for November. So he's got bragging rights in the locker room for at least a year anyway.